Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Erin. Um, I'm a kind of new K-pop fan. I've only been in K-pop for about a year now. And Taemin is actually one of the first artists that I found when I was getting into K-pop. And he inspired me so much to pursue dance a little bit more than I had been. Um, and one of those reasons is because I saw the music video for Advice. And it was one of the coolest, like, best produced videos I'd seen. And so it made me really want to, like, learn the dance and everything. So today we're going to be watching the Advice dance practice, which was just released a few days ago. Because, yeah, this was literally a cultural reset for me. Like, I am so grateful to Taemin for his expressive quality and the way he dances and just the way he doesn't really care what people think. Like, he's just going to be himself and he's going to do what he does and do it well. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Ooh. Yes, they're all so good. Oh, the way he does that knee move, though, it's so fluid. Like, I cannot take my eyes off of him during that part. Oh, yes. Flows through his body like liquid. And just the passion that he puts into it. Mm, that move, the dragging move, followed by this. Mm. I love how well this choreo matches the music. It's really like a story. What is on his sweatshirt? Mm. Oh, the way he drags his body around and his lines are so smooth. Ugh, he does hip rolls better than anyone I've seen. Anyone. Ooh. Why do I feel like he did that move better this time? The one where he's like moving across. Wait, it's like right after this. After the hip roll. We gotta watch the hip roll, of course. Of course. Not this part. I went back to that part. Ooh, that was smooth. He barely moved his feet. This part. Mm. Make way. Make way. This is his show, his runway. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Mm. He's so subtle with it, but so like fierce at the same time. I love this the contrast. Mm. Ugh. I want to be there. I want to do this dance with him. That's like my dream in life. Dance with Taemin. It's not going to happen, but like, a girl can dream. Ugh, I'm obsessed with the way he does that. Ooh, and I love how he pulls them. Such a nice touch. Ugh. Flawless king, truly. Mm, that end there. So I like this song for a lot of reasons. I love how it like builds throughout it and then like crescendos and then falls off at the very end. Like it's just such a nice, like it's very relaxing but then powerful in the middle. So it really has like kind of a storyline structure to it. Um, and especially with the music video, 
just the way that he like plays with different elements of like really just I don't care what people say I'm gonna like take my own advice that type of thing you can really feel how palpable that is through the dance and when a dance follows the structure of the story it changes everything like honestly that was part of what solidified that dance for me was just like how much it matched with the entire um, structure of the music so yeah I really love this dance practice. I love seeing anything with Taman, so I'm glad that they finally put it out because I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite Taman dance practices are. Um, the first one I ever saw was, what is it called? Criminal, Criminal. And that's the one that hooked me. And then I saw advice and I was like, Taman is a god. <laughs> like that was just kind of my thought process. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love his dance style and he inspires me a lot. Um, so let me know what other Tame and stuff, if you guys want to see anything else. Um, I'm planning to do, like, a shiny marathon at some point because I've only seen a couple of their music videos from back when I was in high school, so, like, a long time ago. Um, obviously the iconic Ring Ding Ding. Um, but, yeah, and Lucifer. Those are the two that I've seen. Um, so let me know any other ones I should check out, and that's going to be it for this reaction, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!